Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. Uh, today we're giving you a little update on a car that I've been getting a lot of questions about. I haven't really talked about it, but you guys are really good at noticing when stuff changes in the background of videos. And uh, I figured I got enough requests, I'd at least uh, address this car. So, uh, as I mentioned in other videos, sometimes what I do with states or I'm buying from places, uh, I kind of have to be quiet about the estate. They're, they're either private and they don't want people to um, to know about where it is or whatever, or sometimes the estate's just uh, a little difficult to buy things from, so I kind of keep a little quiet about it. So this car came from the place where my Riley engine uh, came from and some other stuff I've been buying, but it came about in a roundabout way, and a friend ended up buying it, uh, and I ended up buying it from the friend when they decided they didn't want it, and I just had to grab it because it was so super duper solid. Uh, this was found underneath of a pile of trash and junk in an old garage that the family didn't even know that it was there. And uh, when they were on kind of cleaning the garage out, they started moving junk out of the way and stuff, and they found a 26-27 Roadster body uh, underneath of there. I'm guessing that it probably was an old hot rod because it's painted this uh, beautiful color of yellow. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of the color, but it is kind of neat. It's got old paint. Uh, it's really, really solid, as I mentioned. Uh, pretty much everything's there. It's got the deck lid, which is pretty banged up. Both the doors are there. It came with an extra door. Um, and I was basically just going to put this thing on the shelf and just kind of set it aside for some day when I get the right engine and the right parts. Uh, one of the, my buddies that comes over like once a week to, to hang out and help me work on stuff, uh, he's really taken a liking to the car, and he kind of has been bugging me to start throwing some parts together and turn it into a real quick, simple, basic hot rod. The Free T, the Sweetheart Roadster, some of the cars I'm building for myself are kind of involved where we're doing heavy frame modifications, heavy body modifications, and um, you know, putting some kind of crazy engine set up or you know, just overall doing a lot of custom work. This is going to be more of a just real basic, simple, throw together hot rod. So uh, it's 26, 27 Roadster body. We're going to put it on a Model A frame, which we have sitting here that we found at a auction I went to. I think I paid $10 for this Model A frame. Needs a front cross member put in it. This is one of the propane flatheads that we got. So I got rid of one of them, kept one of them. So that would be great for this. Uh, I got some axles laying around. We got a bunch of rears laying around that we got for real cheap. So we're just going to show you how to just kind of throw together a real cheap hot rod. This isn't going to be like a real detailed build. We're just kind of do updates as we're tinkering on it. I'm really only uh, guiding my friend Spencer as he works on it um, and tinkers on it. And yeah, just going to kind of uh, throw it together. But we'll show you guys some of the stuff that I think is uh, that hasn't been detailed real well in other YouTube videos. So, for instance, putting a 26-27 body on a Model A frame is something I think would be kind of cool to show you how simple or, or basic it is to do it. So you guys can kind of maybe tackle that yourself. And we'll do the flathead V8 thing and keep it pretty t traditional like I like to do. But we'll walk around the car, show you kind of how solid it is, what it is, and. Uh, yeah, this is it. We're looking for a name. We haven't figured out a name for it. Uh, Mike had a great name. Was it Bumble T? The Bumble T. It's kind of a cool name. Uh, Spencer doesn't know what he wants to call it, but uh, we're going to just tinker with it here and there and uh, just have fun with it. That's the goal with all these cars is not spend a lot of money and have fun. All right, so we're going to walk around the car, show you guys uh, just how solid it was. Uh, so one thing... A lot of people, when you get tees, they're so far apart, people don't realize it. But this thing still has the original gas tank in it. So this is a little vent here is where you fill the gas on these. And it has the original gas tank. It's super, super, super clean inside. So we, uh, we may just leave the gas tank right where it's at because it's so nice. But that's pretty cool that it has a gas tank in it. And the vent's there. Uh, we already had to do, step inside. Uh, we had to do a repair on the inside here that Spencer already did and I kind of helped him. Uh, the door latch was ripped out of this door and uh, it was just like a piece of rope just around the door. Uh, so we made a little piece that has the, um, 
the step back so you could fit the latch back in on the top. We welded it in, just ground it down smooth, and now we have a door that latches on this side. That's a huge, huge thing for me with any of these cars. That one's great. This one equally is nice. And so that's pretty cool that the doors all latch. In here, you can see there's not much rot at all on this car. There's a little bit of rust right down in here on the back. Uh, nothing crazy. Usually these cars are missing the seat pan. I did notice down, down low here on both sides there's some old repairs where there was probably some rust and they kind of put some body filler over it and just painted it. We're going to try and leave the car this original kind of, not original, but old paint and leave the character and just kind of embrace it and put together a real cheap, fun uh, little hot rod. So the back uh, has the turtle deck on it, which is pretty hard to find for these 26-27s. Uh, the hinge setup's kind of beat up. This, the uh, rear deck lid's quite, quite beat up, but it's really solid. It's not rotten, which is kind of the key thing. Spare doors in there. Came with a bunch of extra wood that was uh, probably the, the guy that the estate it came from. I think he was probably gathering wood for this thing to put it back together. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's got extra latches. I, don't, I didn't even really go through this. <laughs> Some shackles. And spare tire holder, I think. Which we will not be using. But yeah, so that's... You can actually see they painted. I think the thing was red oxide primer underneath. That's where the spare tire carrier was. And they just painted the yellow. The yellow paint job is like not good. It's not... Canary yellow. Yeah, so it's not like it's a real nice paint job, but it does have some cool character, and uh, some people have seen it in photos on Instagram. Have really like some people really like the yellow. I'm not, I'm just not a yellow fan. Uh, if this thing was black or some other, any other color but yellow. If it was yellow and it had lettering on it. Yeah, we could probably do lettering. Matt would have kept it if it had old lettering on well, it. Well, we'll see what happens with it, but we're we're gonna put it together. I think this car deserves to at least be made into a car again. Uh, I have most of the stuff in stock, as I call it, uh, or just laying around. Um, that we could pretty much put this car together without having to buy too much parts other than just like wheel cylinders and brake lines and stuff like that. But um, I have axles, I have rears, I have all that stuff. So now that we got the doors latching, that was a big thing Spencer wanted to get done, was get the doors all together and latching. I'm going to pull a front cross member out of my stash. And we're gonna do that just like we did with Andrew's frame, put a cross member back in it. Then we're gonna put this on some stands, put the body on, get the body mocked up. Once that's got mounts, we could put the engine in, make engine mounts, and then we're, we're, we're rolling really quick. So this thing should kinda of come together pretty quickly. We do need to figure out a grill for it. I haven't decided what I wanna run. May have run like a 28, 29 grill, or even a 26, 27 T grill. I just haven't decided. Uh, love to hear what you guys have for input. I seem to have a lot of 32 grills around, but I don't want to don donate them for this car. I think it actually would be cooler with a, a different grill on it. So we'll figure it out. But that is the T that's been in the background everybody's been asking about. Thought we would give a little update on it. And uh, definitely would love some input if you guys have input on uh, cars that you think are cool, 26, 27 Ts, and maybe you want to share the name or photo. And also if you have an idea for a name, drop us a comment, and I'd love to hear the discussion on that. That's all I got guys, thanks, catch you later.